Hey guys, so today I wanted to make a short video just about my blood test results. Actually, the last time I had my blood drawn was September 2nd, 2014. Um, I just kind of wanted to go over the differences. Back then, I was not vegan. I was eating a high processed meat, dairy, and my battery died. But anyways, I was eating a highly processed, sad diet. Basically, it was full of meat, cheese, dairy, sugar, just junk. Um, Fast forward to when I got my blood drawn, I had just stopped drinking. So I did this current blood work February 23rd, 2016. So I stopped drinking February 9th, and I think I had been eating more of a whole foods, plant-based diet um, probably two weeks prior to this blood being drawn. So keep in mind, this is not, like it's not great. <laughs> because I was eating a bunch of crap still before the blood was drawn basically. I just wanna get that point across that when you hear these numbers, you're not gonna be like, oh, well you're vegan and you still have like these numbers basically. I have had high cholesterol since um, I was 17. That was one of the first times they tested my cholesterol so I don't even know how long I've had high cholesterol and I'm 27 now, so it's been 10 years I've had very high cholesterol, and every time I've had my blood drawn, the doctors have just like been like, oh, you're too young to take drugs, which I am thankful for because I would have never wanted to take cholesterol-lowering drugs, but at the same time, I have had high cholesterol, and I have been adding plaque to my arteries, I'm sure, for 10 years, so that it like really scares me. So the way that I eat isn't just like because of the animals. It's I mean, it is because of the animals. That's my one of my main reasons is ethical. But at the same time, like this is like life or death to me, and that's why I've been like, I'm literally fighting for my life. Is how I look at it. So when I quit drinking and I try and eat better, it's because I want to have a happy, fulfilling life without sickness. And I know I'm just headed down the wrong path or I was headed down the wrong path. So finding veganism just because I wanted to lose weight and learning all this stuff has been part of my journey and I am in the beginning phases of finally eating a better diet and not just vegan because I have been vegan almost a year. So back in uh, 2014, my total cholesterol was 309. Let's see, my triglycerides in 2014 were at 415. My non-HDL was at 257, and my cholesterol HDLC ratio was at 5.9. So this is all in 2014. My cholesterol now, instead of it being 309, is at 265, which is still very high. And my doctor didn't seem too worried about it. And I'm just sitting here thinking, how can you not be worried about someone with a cholesterol of 265? I literally just go to the doctor to get my blood tests done. like. She told me to take fish oil the other day and I was just like, no one says that anymore. <laughs> my triglycerides now, she was concerned about this, was 385 and they were 415 in 2014. So those have gone down. Everything's gone down, just not a ton, but it has still gone down. And this is just eating crap. My cholesterol and HDLC ratio is at 4.3 instead of 5.9 now. And my non-HDL cholesterol was at 257 and I am now at 204, which is still high. Okay, so in 2014, my LDL cholesterol was not calculated because my triglycerides were too high. But now my LDL is at 127, so I'm right under the recommended area. So that's gone down and it's actually, it was actually able to be calculated. My HDL cholesterol went up, so it used to be 52, and now it's at 61. But I think that's your good cholesterol. Okay, so the HDL cholesterol is your good cholesterol, and that has gone up for me. Whatever that means. There's cats playing behind me. Yeah. Okay, so on to the next thing I wanted to talk about was my protein. So in 2014, my protein was 7.1. Now it's a 7.5. So being vegan has upped my protein. <laughs> Where do you get your protein? No. Uh, my B12 
is low. Um, I'm supposed to be between 200 and 1100 and I'm at 188. I was not supplementing at all before, so she told me just to start using my supplements regularly and we'll test again in six months. She's not really worried about it. She said there is a shot if for some reason I have some rare thing where I can't absorb it through my intestines. I don't really believe that either, so I'm just going to take my supplement and get my stuff tested again. All this tested again in six months, so stay tuned for that one. And my vitamin D was low. It's supposed to be between 30 and 100. It's at 15. Again, I was not using it. <laughs> Severus! Hi, babe. It's okay. So again, I was not using my supplement regularly. I am now. Josh and I take, um, let me go get them actually. So I know there's different opinions on what you should take, uh, but these are what Josh and I take. I did as much research as I could. My brain felt like it was gonna explode. These are both vegan supplements. She prescribed me a D3 supplement from their pharmacy, but I'd have to pay 12 bucks for it, which isn't terrible. But I also don't know if it's vegan and I wasn't gonna be like, let me see what's in it or let me research it, blah, 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 because I already had my own, so I just bought another one because Josh and I actually needed more. We take the Spring Valley Fast Dissolve Vitamin D12. We take this daily. It's the 2500 microgram, I think. Gluten, lactose, artificial colors, artificial flavors, preservatives, yeast, milk, or milk derivatives, sugar, soy, sodium, free. And then we take the MRM Vegan Vitamin D3 5000 IU. This is the one we take. And this one contains VitaShine, contains no added milk, eggs, peanut tree, nut fish, shellfish, soy wheat, gluten, or yeast ingredients. So we take one of these daily. This one, we uh, it's about $15 on Amazon and we order twice a month, so it costs us $30. And this one lasts us two months. And I think this, I can't remember how much this one was, like 12 bucks, I think. I'm just gonna take the supplements and not worry about it and get tested for everything again in the six months time. So all in all, my blood test results from being a crappy junk food vegan for a year, all my stuff has gone down, not like huge, but the difference between then and now, in 2014, and I remember this day clearly, I went into the doctor. Uh, we didn't have a car at the time, I don't believe. So my sister had to drop me off. They told me that my cholesterol was basically sky high. It was at 309, right? And you're not supposed to even be over 200, but that's still too high. And afterwards, when I was waiting for my sister to come pick me up, I went and got a Baconator from Wendy's. And I still remember that. I remember feeling disgusted with myself and I was just craving something. So that's what I went and got, harming animals and harming myself. But now, for breakfast today, I had oatmeal with a little bit of coconut sugar and a frozen banana. And I am satisfied. Also, I'm reading a new book. I don't have it with me. It's called The Pleasure Trap. It's really informative. So I just want to do this quick update with these blood test results in another six months. I'm going to do it again. I want to see where my cholesterol is at because I'm going to be eating whole foods plant-based. I have not drank for what, almost a month now? Oh wow, it's been almost a month and I haven't even thought about it. So Josh and I are doing really good. He hasn't either. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys next time. I think I might do a what I eat in a day. Even though it's pretty boring now. I've been eating a lot of potatoes lately. But I'll see you guys next time. Bye.